my advice for you is never yell at each other, except for if your house is on fire. And on another note, Richard, turn off the lights before you go to bed. From my past experience, things can get pretty brutal, so. Okay, Rachel talks a lot. Richard doesn't talk a lot. So they're probably a pretty good match. But once you're married, she might want him to talk more. And he might want her to talk less. So <laughs> I guess my advice would be, if they both talk to the Lord, I'm sure they'll work it all out. Have courage and be kind. And uh, Richard, nothing always means something. And um, when Rachel says, wow, that is a sign to run because she has done her research and data and you probably haven't. So just a heads up. Rachel, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. So the burnt offerings that are sure to come just feed them to him anyways. He will learn the art of uh, the right answer at the right time. <laughs> Without Zach. <laughs> Find out his favorite snack ever and always stock up on it. Rachel, I've heard that Richard likes shopping more than you do, which is, again, hard for me to imagine. I would say hold his hand while you're shopping. That way, not only is it romantic, but in your case, it's also economical. For um, Richard, I would say never make fun of any choice that Rachel ever makes because you are one of her biggest decisions. That's not a fat joke. Uh, well, first of all, I'm missing game three of the Stanley Cup final tonight to do this. Uh, go Pens. Uh, secondly, Rachel, you don't get any advice. You stole him from us. Uh, but Richard, if you ever get kicked to the doghouse, you have our numbers. Give us a text. You can come on over. First thing, be honest, uh, be kind, forgive, and um, don't nag him too much. Rachel, if you ever have a long day and your house is a mess, what you do is when Richard comes home and he wants to do something, just don't do anything. Maybe go to the bathroom or do whatever. And uh, if he sits in the living room long enough, he will get bored and he will, for some reason, just clean up your house. Because that's what he does to our basement. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Richard. Find out what really annoys each other. And then just uh, let that be your guide through the rest of your area. Rachel, you're the The only marriage advice I have is save all your money and never forget to use all your gift cards. Ditto. <laughs> well, Richard, Rachel's a sweet and fantastic lady. Uh, but based on what's happened with her sister Rebecca, don't ever try wearing her clothes. The uh, wrath of Rachel involves F 18s, um, tanks, RPGs and the latest technology in intercontinental ballistic missiles, but she's a keeper. We have lots of advice for the couple, but whether we can say it on air, I'm not quite sure. Richard, just do whatever Rachel tells you to do and you'll be <laughs> fine. <laughs> Clean up your socks, your laundry, put your laundry away. Marriage advice, Is that mar that's marriage advice, mm -hmm. yeah. Of course, people get divorced over this Eat stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Eat whatever she makes for you. <laughs>
I think after 34 years, just learn to put the Lord first, I think. And Oh yeah, that too. <laughs> and I think take time to listen and work out any issues that you are and uh, learn to time, spend time together to pray and to talk through things. The couple that prays together stays together. Treat your wife like fine china. Now, you can interpret that differently, but um, I tend to try not to interpret it as only taking her out for special occasions. I, that's not, not a good not good advice. I, I, I would recommend definitely to cherish her and treat her like, like she is special. Make sure to say I love you every day. And tell it to Rachel, not your new truck. Happy wife, happy life. Yeah. Put God first in your marriage. <laughs> you guys are actually desperate enough to ask me for marriage advice. It's pretty sad. Anyway, Richard well, do everything Rachel says, obviously. If not, try to avoid any flying objects. Really? That's all I have for you. <laughs> Rachel, if he ever bothers you, his weak spot is right there, below the ribs, right there. Make sure at least once a day to put your phones down and talk face to face. Eric. Eric. Hmm? Eric. Hmm?